OOTD for the day. Simple jeans and booties and my um, sweater. And I'll probably put on, throw on um, just a leather jacket, which it's supposed to be 70, but 70s here has been turning into cool 70s. So um, yeah, so this is it. Pretty much, I'm not sure. I think I might roll these up a little bit. I like how they're fringed at the bottom, so I'm not quite sure, but yeah, this is it for the office. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am headed in to the office. Enjoyed my day off yesterday and um, much uh, got a short week looking forward to that as well and always wonder when you take off what you're walking into um, basically so I hope I'm not returning to anything too crazy so we'll see it's chilly this morning hence the leather jacket um, I never know what to put on because of these many personal summaries of mine. That's what comes with age, you know. So, but yeah, I got my coffee. I got me some, um, I got me some raisin toast with strawberry cream cheese. And I'll frown at it because if you like, um, cinnamon raisin bagel, you probably eat it on that as well. <laughs> So that's what I like. Got my coffee, no need to stop for anything. Just headed straight in. So traffic agree with me. Um, <clears throat> and Jesus be a fence for everything today. Everything that may try to come my way. I know you got me. Talk to you guys later. Hope you have a blessed start to your day. Good morning, guys. It is a rainy day in Chicago. Just do on um, pretty much all green. Got my green sweater with a hoodie, vest, pants, and threw on some brown boots. So I guess I'm monochromatic today. And this is the look for the office. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so tired. Thank you. God for the sun shining because this it was slow and um it was so dreary it kept getting dark in the office and we have these huge windows um and it just made for a very long drawn out drowsy day with the rain and everything I was like oh god this is the perfect I just could not keep my eyes open. I was so drowsy. And I slept good. I slept good. Had good rest. And still was just groggy. Oh my gosh, it was the worst. I hated it. But, ugh. So I'm off. Heading home. Picking up some things from the store.
enough of me complaining. I hope you guys had a great day today. Um, hump day Wednesday. I'm just coming on here to show that I did pick up um, this one from Ross Dove's Nourishing Secrets Invigorating Body Wash with um, Avocado Oil. So I'm pretty excited to try this one. I like picking them up there because they only go for $8.99 for a big one and that's pretty good and then i'm going to try this um new grapefruit and mango um body scrub these are really nice this one was 5.99 i'm almost done with the dr teal's restore and replenish this was amazing it feels like you've already put on like your body cream or whatever once you get out and i think it was probably the same price i can't remember if i got it at ross or if i got it at um uh what do you call it oh my gosh i'll probably put the name because i can't think right now but um that was good and um i did get more sponges I got a bag of three of these and i got the um gloves as well the exfoliating gloves i love those i didn't even know that they carry this type of stuff in um, the men's area, this tea tree exfoliating scrub. And they I didn't even know they make Nivea for men. So that was interesting to come across that because I buy this type of stuff for myself. So yeah, we'll see. Um, this caress Tahitian pomegranate and coconut milk and has exfoliating inside of it, it was definitely really, really nice. I would definitely buy this again. I am almost finished with it. And, um, but yeah, I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. And the fact that it um, has ex stuff, um, exfoliating stuff in it was great. So this was a winner. Definitely will um, stock it again. Good morning, good morning. So happy to be off today. It is Friday and I have decided to make this a little spa day for myself. Um, I think it's wanted and needed. And I'm just going to take advantage of it. Doing everything that I could go and have done, but why not use the luxuries of what I have here in the house? So, that's what I'm doing today. Cleansing my face, going to mask, going to have a spa bath. I hardly, rarely ever use my Whirlpool um, bath. So, I want to make sure to do that. And yeah. So I've got everything laid out together. Um, I just used, uh, this was something that was sent to me, excuse me, in my Ipsy. It's a marine 
serum cleanser and you barely have to use a lot of it um, so yeah and then I'm going to use a scrub right behind it I just keep these type of hand towels close by for my face and now I'm going to be using this um, tea tree scrub moisturizing facial scrub if I can get it open Every now and then you gotta do stuff like this for yourself. Of course, it's nice to always go and have stuff done, but nothing like taking care of yourself at home too. So, rub that in. Don't be too harsh on your face. But if you've been wearing makeup all week, I would suggest at the end of the week kind of ending up with a scrub. Hey guys, so I'm all done with the tea tree scrub and I'm now I'm going to go in with my um, my serum. This is a retinol vitamin E anti-wrinkle serum. So I've already toned my face. And so I'm going to do this. You can hear my water running in the background. You guys if I get this open. got to go in with my rejuvenating uh, lightening and brightening eye cream. This goes right under the eye. And this is my pons. Just like you kind of get you don't want to rub too hard under your eyes. So that's all I'm going to do as far as my face. my water here. Um, going in and brushing up the teeth with my favorite pro enamel toothpaste. nothing like giving yourself a spa bath and then following it up with a shower amazing amazing the scrub all of that gloves all of that now I just can't decide if I want to go in with my Vaseline intensive care cream or my Dove silky nourishment and then I always use it with a Vaseline um, I won't double so I probably will use this one because with all that um, exfoliating, I probably need and I probably need an intensive cream, which is what that says. And it's Cocoa Glow. So that is what I'm going to follow up with. And nothing like a spa pamper day on your day off. 
nobody bothering you, house to yourself, and you can just enjoy. So don't sleep on pampering yourself, ladies. It's important. It is really important to give time to yourself, especially when um, lots of things are going on and you just need to relax, relate, and release. So with that said, I will let you enjoy the rest of your Friday while I enjoy the rest of mine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hey y'all, I am back doing a quick little two-piece just to be around the house in from last year and um, on my, my hair after all that spa stuff. Um, probably gonna need to remold it, but who am I? Who would I be if I didn't come over here on here and just be me? So, me in the flesh. But I did just go and check the mailbox and I got an Ipsy. Uh oh, it's called Hall Oween. Hall Oween. Love it, love it, love it. So, let's see what we got, y'all. According to this, there should be a uh anastasia concealer in here anastasia beverly hills deluxe magic touch concealer dermatologist choice deep cleansing facial mask Ooh. um a liquid lipstick in sunrise by v cosmetic um a sephora collection smooth blur primer and a fenty skin fat water refining toner serum oh they even partnered with Fenty. Okay, y'all. So this is the primer, Sephora primer. And these things, okay, so I think I left off talking to you guys about this smooth and blur primer from Sephora. I love little stuff like this because when you travel, it's easy to just pack stuff like this. Then I got a and I don't know why I did not bring glasses in here so you guys could, so I could read stuff off to you. I always do that. Um, but we're going to see what we got. Just hang tight. Let me get this open. And we're going to see. Okay, this looks like it might be the lipstick that they sent. Um, yep, like a and I have something in this color. Mm, for the sake of the video, we can leave it on. But this is something I probably would mix with something. But again, something small to carry in the purse. This is the Anastasia. What was it again? Is it a mascara? Oh, it's a concealer. I guess I was thrown off because of the black here but it's a concealer oh okay excited to try that anastasia i love anastasia stuff this is mm, and this dries matte not a fan of matte um this is the deep cleansing facial mask and this is by dermatologist choice love 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 all these little sample things whoa and Look at Fenty. That's a nice size sample bottle. Bottle, And what is this? Fenty Skin Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. Yes, so we got a toner that we can use in the morning when we cleanse our face. So stuff like this, well, you know, if you get to try it, then you'll know if you want to buy it. So again, this was my Ipsy haul and then i also got um a scent bird um, i try out their stuff i love their little packaging i actually have on a scent bird today um let's see what this one is oh wow it's like it's almost like they up upgraded their packaging this is locks it, locks it where it can't spray and then that's how you can spray it. But, oh, and look how this one opens totally different from the other ones. So this is Tuas, T-O-U-S, Love Me. And, ooh, y'all, I don't know who this is inspired by. Hmm, well, 
Let me put it back in here so I can spray a little bit and um, we'll go from there. Hmm. I'll have to look back and see who it's inspired by. Some, some nice little notes I smell in there. Oh, here's the card. I didn't, I didn't feel it. Here's scent bird. Tools love me. It is a jewel. Is it a jewel? Is it a fragrance? It's both. The most tous et de perfume is a jewel of perfume with a floral, fruity scent. Mm-hmm. Authentic love me fragrance is the most tender, the most bare, the most toi. A fusion of scents that blend the intensity of cedar and creamy musk, which is perfect for winter, for fall. Um, with transparent jasmine and peony, all in living with the freshness of pink grapefruit, pink peppercorn, and lychee. So, this is who it's inspired by. Your fragrance this month is. So, yeah, that's what I got this month, guys. Toi, two, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced, but excited about it i'm going to show you the other ones i have and they came they're different than that one so they twist up like this and so this is the new look where you um can lock it where it doesn't spray when you travel so i like i said i like stuff like this because then you don't have to take your whole bottle of everything and you get a chance to try out some fragrances before you buy them so this is not sponsored it's just something that I'm trying for myself and I actually paused the um, subscription because I didn't need them coming so fast you know so anyway I came back on here to share that with you even though I closed out the blog previously and so now I will get this edited up and on the channel bye guys